Hey, Rimbo here and welcome to my channel. Today, you kind of have a hint here. You see what that is, right? This is the Triumph Speed 400. And I am really excited to take this bike out and I'm gonna tell you why. Because it's just a nice size. It's a great beginner bike. It's a great just commuting bike. Who really needs all this power we have? This is a fun bike. Let's take it for a ride right now. All right, before we take it for a ride, let's go over some specs here. You are looking at the 2024 Triumph Speed 400. This bike, are you ready for this? We are in the year 2024. Look at this gorgeous specimen and look at that blue. If you know the name of that blue, comment below, all right? Now, this bike can be yours in the United States for, this is gonna be an amazing price, you ready? $4,995. It's a $5,000 bike in 2024 that has ABS. So let's go over some of the specs and let's do it. Ah, there it is. The liquid cool four valve, single cylinder, electronic fuel injected, 398 cc engine. Now this little son of a gun will pump out 39 and a half horsepower. And that's at, ready? 8,000 RPM. You want to talk about torque, about 27.7, close to 28 pound-feet of torque, and that is at 6,500 RPM. It is a, eh, let's call it a tubular steel frame that you see here, and when we look at the exhaust on the other side, the exhaust is a stainless steel twin skin header that's coming off of this bike. And this bike does have a wet multi-plate slipper clutch. Now it may not have a quick shifter, but it is for a 400, a six speed gearbox on this bike. And let's talk about these wheels. These wheels are cast aluminum alloy, 10 spoke wheels made out of aluminum, aluminum, or for those on the other side of the pond, aluminum. Aluminium. Should I say aluminium or aluminum? All right, anywho, uh, the front is a 17 by three and that is mounted uh, a 11070 R17. And the rear tire is a 17 by four inch and is a 15060 R17, there it is. Looking at the front forks as we're starting, start, starting to talk about suspension, they are 43 millimeter forks and they have 140 millimeters of travel. So pretty decent on that. And deep down inside the center of this bike, you're looking at a gas mono RSU with a reservoir. It does have preload adjustment and believe it or not, that actually has 130 millimeters of travel if you can see that. Front brakes, it's a single 300 millimeter disc and it has a four piston caliper on it. The rear brake, 230 millimeter disc with a radial caliper looks like a single, if you ask me. Now, both front and rear have ABS. There's the ring, see that ring? Yep. Front and rear ABS on this bike and that's about as much electronics as you're probably gonna find. Has an analog speedometer with a little LCD display with some information for you with like the trip and some other odds and ends. We'll see that as we are riding. Now seat height is important to everyone. This bike comes with a 31.1 inch. That's about 790 millimeters for those smart people that actually use the metric system. And the gas tank, and that is a gorgeous, just look at that gas tank. I just love that color. Anyway, you are looking at 3.43 US gallons or about 13 liters. Now the wet weight of this bike altogether is about 375 pounds or let's call it 170 kilograms. Hey, Rainbow, how often do I have to get this bike serviced? Well. Believe it or not, every 10,000 miles for this single cylinder engine, that's maybe a selling point to me. I don't buy that. In South Florida here with the heat, I would probably do it every 5,000 miles, maybe even more frequently. Oh, and by the way, all the lighting is LED lighting. This does have a steering lock and what they are calling an anti-theft immobilizer. And the key that we use to start this 
does have a chip in it. So enough with the boring specs that anyone can look up online. Let's do the most important part and let's take it for a spin and see how this thing feels. All right, there we are. And of course, this echoey sound I have here. Beautiful bike. Let's take it for a spin right now. And get the kickstand up, turn the ignition on, get it ready. We are on a Triumph, therefore, what do we need to do? Pull the clutch in. You don't pull the clutch in on a Triumph, you get nothing, all right? Pull the clutch in on a Triumph, and there you go. Sounds like a single cylinder engine, all right? Now, for comparative purposes, I will be comparing the power delivery, the feel, and the ride to my KTM RC 390 because it's about the closest thing that I have a lot of experience on recently. All right, now I said this isn't a quick shifter. Uh, right off the bat, it feels good. I know I say that every time I start off. All right, no quick shifts, so we have to manually shift here. The mirrors are actually pretty cool. I kind of like them. I think they look good for this kind of bike. That was a good choice. Seems to handle pretty well. And the one thing I will tell you is that it's a really comfortable seating position. Now you're talking to a guy that just recently herniated two discs in his back and uh, is re rehabbing. And I'm telling you, now that I'm sitting the right way, this feels pretty darn good. And as far as this bike is concerned, yeah, it's a very comfortable seating position. We're going to talk about um, the height of the seat when I come to a stop. That's when we'll talk about that. Now, for reference, I'm about 5'11 and a half, um, and I have a 32-inch inseam, all right? So if that helps you, and when I buy shirts, I buy, I think, 33-inch sleeves. And this bike is extremely comfortable, albeit a smaller bike. It seems to fit rather well. So I think you can be a much taller, you can be a six foot, probably six one, and not have any issues riding this bike. Let's get a little turning going on here. There we go. Yeah, very nimble, feels good, great power delivery. And I'm honestly gonna tell you that <laughs> I think this would give my RC390 a run for the money, uh, for sure. If, if Maybe it's even quicker, I don't know. I'm going to find out because I'm going to take it on the highway. But right now, just testing this bike out, man, it feels pretty good. I mean, we're talking a single cylinder 400. Th this is a great bike. You know, if anyone knows anything about the bikes that I review, Everybody should know that I am a fan of the smaller bikes. Yeah, I have a Pikes Peak, but I am a big fan of these smaller bikes. All right, easily flat foot with some bent knees. Not a problem. So this 31.1 inch seat works pretty well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This has got some get up and go. This feels good. I mean, this is, this is all you need. All right, that was probably too loud. This bike is really all that you need. This has plenty of power. Now, when I say all you need, I mean commuting, everyday use. You know, it's gonna get good gas mileage. I'm going to assume that. There are no specs that I can find on gas mileage on here. Now, nimble. It's a shorter wheelbase bike, so of course it's a very nimble bike. It's a lightweight bike, so of course it's very nimble. But it also feels very steady. That's the other key factor here, is that it feels very steady. And I really wanted to go through that hole there, but I kept myself from doing that. Oh, man. Well, well, so much for checking acceleration at this light, like I normally do. <laughs> I guess that's not going to happen. We'll have to do it at another light. I mean, I'm sort of checking acceleration now, but not from a dead stop. 
but uh, now for this type of bike not a lot of wind protection but this wind feels good in the Florida heat it is uh, the beginning of April and it's gonna be like 80 degrees today or so it's probably somewhere in the 70s right now is what it feels like uh, degrees Fahrenheit obviously but man what a nice bike you know what? I'm becoming more and more of a fan of Triumph. I really am. Like, I truly am finding a like a, a lot of love for Triumph. And, and honestly, the only Triumph that I ever rode that I really didn't like was uh, a couple years ago, I took out a Triumph Tiger 900 Rally Pro. And I just didn't care for the bike. It just felt soft and mushy and I just didn't care for the feel of it and they've completely really redesigned it since then and I took a lot of heat from all you Triumph people on that too but uh, it is what it is it's my opinion well, great timing to have a Florida State Trooper behind me ah oh, great and he's going to be getting on 95 North Hopefully he'll get on 95. Oh, nope, he's getting in the far right lane like he's going to go to 95 South. All right, that should be good. I mean, I'm on a 400. How much trouble could I really get into? But down here, you never know. Now, as far as this thing being like a wheelie monster or something, that ain't going to happen. All right, so let's do a little testing here for acceleration off the start without beating up this bike uh, too badly. Whoa! That was unexpected! Holy schmoly! That is rather impressive. Holy crap! Am I on a 400 or a 660? Holy crap! Triumph, how did you do that? Wow! Okay, so, so everybody knows, okay? Right now, just like all of these reviews I do, I have this bike for a very short period of time. They are a real quick review on how the bike feels to me. My impression, I am the average rider, okay? I'm like many of you out there, commute to work every now and then, go on a couple long rides, spend a lot of time on the weekend on the bike. For me, it's year round. And um, so I'm just giving you a very short review. All right, let's take this puppy on the highway. And if there's traffic is good. There we go. Oh, come on, change lanes, buddy. So, as expected, really no wind protection, doesn't feel horrible. This bike is not designed to be going 95, 100 miles an hour on the highway, okay? It's not what it's designed for. It can do it. But wind protection is, I'm not going to say virtually non-existent because it seems like whatever they put together out front there gives you a little bit of something. So it doesn't feel that bad. I wasn't riding into the wind or anything, so... Um, felt pretty good again sitting uh, here unfortunately this mirror is loose it keeps moving in on me because it just needs to be tightened up not a big deal but easily flat footing with bent knees as you can see they're bent on both sides 
so that looks good and uh, again 31.1 inch seat uh, good feels good I mean so far I'm really giving this bike like a pretty major thumbs up and if you're looking for a brand new bike and you're looking for a commuter to bounce around town with you're looking for your very first bike I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you I think you found it you you really can't go wrong with this bike this this is a, a nice bike here it has a decent amount of power I mean look what I just did I was just doing 95 miles an hour on 95 on this little 400 thing you know I weigh about 188 187 pounds something like that with all my gear you know and boots and stuff and the helmet I'm probably close to 200 pounds here and it holds no problem through town acceleration is absolutely fantastic and for a bike that has a sticker price under five thousand dollars yeah by five bucks but it's a five thousand dollar bike I don't know what the out the door pricing is but I will tell you that it is an under five thousand dollar bike uh, sticker wise not a lot of options I'm sure they have some accessories for this I'm not going to talk about that stuff because I really don't know I'm just all about the feel of the bike and really how useful I think it is if you watch my videos everyone knows what's next we're gonna take it over some railroad tracks at 50 miles an hour and of course with 140 millimeters of travel on the front forks and 130 millimeters of travel in the rear mono shock I'm expecting that it's gonna feel pretty darn good again the only thing you, you can yourself manually adjust on this bike is going to be the preload adjustment on the mono shock that's it uh, this is straight out of the factory not set up for me didn't make any adjustments I didn't check slack or anything like that Right, 50 miles an hour let's hit the railroad tracks and see what we got there's 50 that's pretty good pretty good can't complain pretty good pretty good across the railroad tracks no complaints there all right let's turn this puppy around because you know there's not a whole lot of electronics here to check there's not different modes to check or anything like that so I think I can turn it around and start heading back beautiful now we'll do the railroad tracks at 50 again still feeling good all right all right there's the question who is this bike for well this bike is for anyone with a motorcycle license because if you're an experienced rider you're gonna love this bike you're gonna love just being able to just sling it around and you're gonna love every part of it if you are a brand new rider you're gonna love this bike because it's tame it's lightweight it's nimble so this bike is for anyone everyone and anyone can ride this bike this is a fantastic choice and I'm telling you I'm really enjoying the power delivery on this bike you know would it be nice if this thing had a you know a quick shifter on it yeah that would be great it doesn't I don't even know if you could put one on here but this bike certainly feels really good and very smooth and it's a bike for every single person out there to enjoy it really is I think I'm instead of going through the parking lot I'm just gonna do a tight turn here well not as tight as I could have but anyway a relatively tight turn this bike is for everyone it's a fantastic bike it's got the Triumph name the Triumph build quality the parts everything 
it's, it's just a great bike. I mean, the, the price point alone is kind of surprised me because when you think about it, the RC390 from KTM, and it's a different style bike, of course, has a little more electronics on it. There, it's it's a thousand dollars more than this, but this thing, man, I just can't go wrong with this. All right. Now, as always, I have to do this, as always, Ian from Triumph Motorcycles, Ducati, Two Wheels World of Pompano Beach. I'm right here. There's 95. Here it is. I have to thank him and the owner, Omar, for allowing me to take these bikes out. I always have to give them a shout out because they're the ones who allow me to ride these and give you my opinion so you can see firsthand how these bikes feel. And uh, if you like what you saw today, hey, come on, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It would be helpful to me if you would just like and subscribe. It will help me out. It gives me some incentive to do more of this. Of course, I'm getting ready to go out to Circuit of the Americas this uh, Tuesday coming, April, I think, 9th, something like that. I'm going to start heading out. But anyway, that's about it. So this is Rainbow. Please like, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and have yourself a great day. Oh, I guess I'm blocked in here. How did that happen? <laughs>